Hello friends, today I'll be talking about an AI powered visual testing tool ImageM. So let's get quickly started. So to download ImageM, you need to click on the downloads link here, log in and get it installed. So once you have installed ImageM, you will see this particular interface. So first and foremost thing that you need to do is you need to create a project. So let's say we're creating a project test demo project and click on add so while writing your scripts the one thing that you will need is this particular key so let's copy this you can see that the baselines right now are blank as well as the home project test demo project is also blank when you run your test for the first time it will first capture the baseline and then for subsequent runs it will you know compare with the existing baseline so let's see how to get this going so let's see how you can use imagem in your selenium code so like always you know you need to import the web driver and what imagem uses is basically something called the project key that we already created so if you go to imagem and you go here you need to copy this key and paste it over here the second thing that it needs is basically a test name so let's say it is visual testing dynamic content now imagium uses the two apis basically the get uid api and the uh, the validate endpoint api so these two apis are used in imagium so the first thing what you need to do is to you know create the uid so get the uid from here so you do a post request and then what you need to do is just invoke the particular page uh, that you want to do your visual validations on so here i'm referring to a dynamic content page so let me walk you to that page so this is the particular page so every time you do a refresh or every time you hit it on a new instance it will basically change this particular images as well as this text so that's the functionality of this particular dynamic content page so let's see how imagem captures it. so very basic you need to call this particular page then you need to capture your screenshot which is a base 64 screenshot and then you need to call your uh, specifically the validate endpoint api okay so that's about it so let's see how it works so let me just uh, run this particular python script so this is going to open the page capture the visual screenshot And once done it will automatically close it now let's see whether imagium has captured this one so for the first run it is basically going to capture a baseline so that's what it has done it has captured a baseline and you can just load your project here and you see that the baseline has been captured now let's run it again so in the second run as you know because of the dynamic content the page is going to change so let's see if Imagium can capture this. So I run the script again. I try to uh, open this particular page again. Now let's see whether it has captured it or not. So we come back on this page and we reload it. And here now you can see that imagium has captured the difference between this particular two pages okay so this is the particular thing that has been done now you can also change your baseline to ignore regions because at times there is also certain things which change like example the date in a particular visual page which you want to ignore so what you do is go to the baseline load this particular content open this particular pop-up and then you have an option 
to select an area which you want to ignore. So let's say I'm ignoring this first particular section. So I select this, I say exclude and I say save. So now the changes are saved. So let me close this and I go back to the baseline and let's rerun this particular script again and let's see if this particular region has been ignored which we have excluded so it runs again it captures if you go back to image here, reload or refresh uh, you will see that this particular region has been ignored so that's a quick preview of what Imagium does. You can do a lot of other validations here. You can do individual PDF comparisons, etc. So give it a shot. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe.